There's hundreds of mushroom varieties, if not thousands, and I don't have a clue about any of them. But what I can do is take a semi-decent photograph. I'm Scott, welcome to my photography channel, and today we're hunting mushrooms. So I've come to one of the local woods and the weapon of choice is the 60mm macro lens on the EM5. I will explain a little bit more about my choice for this lens in another video and give a little bit of a review on it, but I'm still getting to grips with it. So far it's a nice little tidy lens and it's a lot lighter than the Sigma 105mm, but who really cares about all that? Let's go find some mushrooms to shoot. So I've already found a specimen group here. Nice little cluster, but they are a little bit battered and beaten. I will get a photo anyway because, well, why not? It's good practice for the rest of the day and get warmed up. But the great thing, actually, while I'm looking around here, there's loads of the things. So we can do a little bit more here. Filming on the GoPro, so you might be able, not be able to see too many details inside the picture itself. But as you can see, I'm going with a little side light here at the moment, and that's mainly because the forest is a bit on the dark side, and I can lower the aperture if I want. What I want to do is get that aperture a little bit higher, even though I'm on a macro lens. If you can see the image, I'll get it as close as I can. I'm just hand holding the camera, but what I'm doing is getting down very low to try and get that shot. I'm shooting at f8. Letting the shut speed do what it wants, and the ISO do what it wants. But actually I'm going to come back with the tripod in a minute because I really want to get that ISO a lot lower. So I'll take a shot, just as a reference, and then we'll get the tripod set up and see what else we can get. Okay, we're back with the tripod now, and I've got it as low to the ground as I can. Timer is on, ISO, we can take that off completely. Put it on the ISO 200, which is the lowest on my EM5 where I'm going to low. And I'm just going to let this shot happen. It's going to be fifth of a second in terms of shoot speed. But I don't care because we're happy and stable at the moment. Let's see how we go. I think I'm quite happy with how that shot came out. We'll put it on the screen. Let me know what you think in the comments. If it's any good or not. I've taken a couple of others around as well because sometimes I've got a macro lens but it's nice also to pull it out and get a bit more of the forest in there. It just makes it look a little bit more small, I think it is. And as a bonus, I did find some turkey tails. I know that one, it's very familiar. But I'll put that on the screen as well and you can let me know what you think. So autumn is upon us again, and that's great because we get all these beautiful colours, the woodland, the oranges, the nice golden hours in the evenings, and obviously the mushrooms and fungi are starting to come through. It's not been too wet here recently, but obviously we've got the leaves turning to mulch, making food for them, I'm assuming. Sounds sensible, doesn't it? But we assume that that's going to be food for the mushrooms, and they're just happily growing up and popping up on the ground. And the best thing about them is they don't move anywhere. So you can take all the time in the world to get the shot that you want. And that's a very important factor, especially when you've had the summer of photographing insects and they're moving about the place, jumping. It's nice just to take a nice slow walk, take your time and enjoy nature again. Of course, not everything I photograph today has to be a mushroom and been in the forest you can create quite some magical scenes especially with a little light. I've gone down to manual settings at the moment. I don't usually go into manual settings simply because I like to try and go for speed of photography but it does allow me to control the light a lot more and especially when I'm using a little catch light on the side it just makes for them interesting scenes especially with these little popped open acorns, conkers, 
something like that. Sometimes when I'm out in the forest, it's really interesting to see what was as opposed to what is at the moment. And I've just come across this giant stump of a mushroom, fungi. I'll never know because the head's completely removed and it's covered with slug, snail slime. So some things obviously had a really good time with it. But just the size of the stump, the thing must have been absolutely huge. I would have loved to have seen it when it was fresh and fully open. Hey ho, that's the way it is. Since I started taking a lot more mushroom shots last year, and roughly this time last year when I started really coming out to forests in the local area and starting doing these videos, um, I've really found that sometimes lens, it doesn't really matter too much. Just this is for anyone looking to get into it, of course. But the key things that really do come in handy, having a stable tripod and a little light to take around with you. And they may sound stupid, and they don't need to be expensive things. I mean, use twigs, get down low to the mushrooms, and just try and prop that camera and keep it stable, because you are going to be in dark environments. But the light just adds so much mood to an image, and allows you to give a bit more control over some of those shadows, and give a little bit more depth to your images. At least, that's what I think. I don't know if you think as well. As usual, let me know in the comments if you've got a different opinion. I do like hearing what other tips are. How do you like taking pictures of mushrooms and what do you find that works? As a grown man, I maybe shouldn't get so excited over turkey tails, but they do look awesome. This is what it looks like when you find the mother load of mushrooms happily growing away. Let's get some pictures. So I've just found this little cluster of mushrooms and it's on a big tree stump covered in moss and there's a absolute load of other little ones, um, little bells on top. It's absolutely beautiful. But the main thing I focus on is this little cluster of four, mostly because I just like how the grass seems to give them a little bit of focus, a bit of portrait to pull the eye in. It's not too much, it's just so, so subtle. And it just creates this nice little soft image, framing the mushrooms perfectly. After so I came out today with a full expectation of not being able to find anything. It's been quite dry at the moment in the UK, and obviously mushrooms do like damp conditions. But still, worth coming out, and I'm really pleased that I've managed to find something. Quite a lot of mushrooms, beaten, badly eaten, as is usually the case. But at the same time, there's really some great sights. And at the end of the day, it's just more practice for later on in the season. And can't really complain of more practice. Or being outside. Definitely, definitely good being outside. Time for the best kind of mushroom baby mushroom. Let's get a shot. I should say, when I say baby mushroom, we're talking the smallest mushrooms we can find. Not quite slime mold, which is something I do definitely want to get into. But these things are tiny. And I'm not even sure you can see them on a GoPro, so we're definitely going to have to get a picture. Glad about the macro lens. Just look at these things. Super tiny. See how close I am. Maybe just about see them on the screen. Let's zoom in, make sure they're in focus. I'm going to take an initial test shot, time on. Wait for the click, and then I'm going to get a couple more with the light. Let's see how they go. If you've enjoyed this video, you can show your support by hitting that subscribe button. You'll get notified of other videos coming out, and it really means a lot to me to know that the channel is watched and enjoyed by all. If you want to support me more, check out the links in the description. There's a link to a Ko-Fi page and a website if you like any of the pictures in this video, you can order prints. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. 
I'll put some more photos on the screen now for you to enjoy. But until next time, see you later on.